Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We hope everything's well with you and your house and that we've not had any storms come your way yet tonight, so we're praying for those storms to just disappear. And, uh, but we welcome you to stay tuned. We have a good group here with us tonight and we're going to uh, continue to seek We're going to continue to seek the Lord for the help for the ones that need it, such as as our friend Dottie. She, uh, on Monday of this week, she um, uh, fell and broke her hand, arm, wrist, uh, in that area. And so the last we heard from her today is that she still... She's still on the road to recovery, but it's really too soon to tell much about it. And so uh, but let's pray, pray for Dottie, and then we have others that, that are depending on us. And so as we go into the service tonight, we know that if you've heard any news or today, if you've talked to anyone, you've heard bad things. You've heard uh, things that just kind of uh, tears your heart out if you stop and think about how uh, how sad things are. Uh, everybody going through some really rough things. So in view of this, and I was thinking about all the sick and shut-ins and how it's easy for them to get discouraged and depressed anyway, having to stay in all the time, I thought, well, what scripture would we all need to hear tonight? And so in uh, Philippians, the fourth chapter, we'll read some from there. Uh, Philippians 4 through 8 and 13 uh, and it tells us how to take control of our mind and to rule about what goes in there and it says to rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice let your moderation be known unto all men the Lord is at hand be careful for nothing or in other words don't worry about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. If we do this, if we do this first part, uh, that's our part. And then uh, when we do our part, then we know God's going to be there to do his. And so the seventh verse it says, And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now that is a pretty tall order when we are bombarded on every side with something negative, something bad happening every day. Uh, wrecks of all kinds and murders and robberies and everything. But the, down here, the 13th verse is one we need to really hold on to. And talking about our faith and trust in the Lord, it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So that's where our strength comes from. That's where we're going to get our help is through Him. And so let's remember to think on good things and if you have to make a conscious effort because it's real easy to go along with the, whatever you've heard. Uh, it's easy to think and talk about that. 
But there comes a time you got to take control over your thought life. You've got to choose what you're going to think or what you're not going to think about. You can, any of us can just think negative thoughts and, and th thoughts of defeat to where uh, we lose every, every bit of uh, peace that we have. But we can't do that. Our hope is in the Lord. And so let's remember that through Him, we can do any, uh, anything. We can stay in peace. And so tonight as we go into service, there's a lot of folk that need prayer. But first we want to remember Dottie, our phone operator, and all of you that uh, she has prayed with and talked to, be sure and remember to pray for Dottie. It's going to take a while for this, her, these broken bones and so forth to mend but she wants to be back here talking to you and to praying for you. So we need to, uh, we have a lot of requests already in. We have one from Ruby and Kenneth, and they're from over in Virginia, and he's being taken to a hospital, and she's pretty anxious about uh, what's going to happen, and so she needs peace. She needs to think good thoughts and positive things, and... Uh, so then also we need to pray for the uh, family of Ella Mae Bryant. Her funeral was today, and her family all is in need of prayer. So let's, let's pray, and if you have a need and you want it, uh, to share it, we do have a phone operator, so you feel free to call if you want to. And if not, well, just pray where you are and enjoy the music, and let's all get our mind on the Lord, realizing He is our only strength. We can get human help, and it, it's good for as far as it goes, but it doesn't last for long, and it doesn't cover everything that comes to our life. There's so many deaths right now, and all those families in Texas that lost their, their babies, their little children, and things like this. Only God could give you peace at a time like that. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that we know you. We know who you are. We know who you can be to us. And so we ask for mercy for those that need it. And Lord, for those that are going on through life unconcerned, they're not living for you. They're just living for the moment. We pray that you'll wake them up tonight. Help them to realize they're going to meet you one day. They're going to have to answer for how they spent their life. And so, Lord, we ask for salvation healing and restoration and everything they need. We ask you to bless our singing guests tonight and anoint them and let the song speak to the hearts of the people. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we are happy to have with us Eugene Madden and the Williams, Williamburg Gospel Barn Band and uh, they're from uh, down in London, and the phone number, they do have CDs, 606-330-0017. And they'll get you information on how to obtain their CDs and where they're going to be singing next. So right now, let's welcome the group. Right. I'm glad to be back at WLJC, and we're just here to help help someone along the way maybe somebody will get saved or maybe you'll call in get healed or you know the lord's lord's with us tonight and i just thank the lord for his message and everything he means to us and we're just here not to put on a show but we're here to sing for the lord we'll get these girls up saying something here in a minute i'm gonna try an old song now I am going to a city Where the streets with gold are laid Where the tree of life is blooming And the roses never fade Here they bloom, but for a season Soon their beauty will 
holy king these guys here tonight. Well, uh, I may have forgot that last time. <coughs> Over here on my right, singing the vocals and uh, guitar, Ed Mullins. I'm playing lead guitar and vocals over here on my left. Bud Cotton Gim. Gene Sharp back here on the bass. He does a song or two. For us, and my name's Eugene Madden. We make up what to uh, share tonight. Thank you. But we got some women's going to sing here tonight. They have to do a fantastic job. They, I've been looking for to hear them tonight. Jesus is the one It's all of 
Well, uh, Kyle will end up and back me up on the song there. Tonight. I'd like uh, to send the program out tonight to a good friend over in Crab Orchard, uh, Walter Coffey. I remember him and Thelma and Randall Adams, uh, Gary Cromer, some of the young men and women that I have breakfast with occasionally. Hope we do something tonight that might bless you or might enlighten you in some way or another. Uh, this is uh, Linda Budswile. She's going to help me on this song. Uh, she does a fantastic job. E. Let's go to E. I have seen my last tomorrow. Holding my last breath Goodbye sweet World of sorrow My new life Begins with death I am standing On the mountain I have Turns are behind me. I have prayed and final prayer. Don't you cry, oh my body. That ain't me lying there. I am staying. On the mountain, I have heard the angels' song. I am reaching over joy. Take my hand, Lord, lead me home. Take my hand. Say our final prayer, face our last tomorrow. But oh boy, I'm so glad we've got a better place to go. Hey. There's a day out ahead of us I know will surely come. That Easter sky will open wide, revealing God's dear son. Oh, I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of an eye. And in the midst of all the glory, we'll hear the sweetest cry. Welcome home. I knew you'd come. Welcome home. You're here for good. Look around. Was it worth the way? Welcome home, step through the gate. Oh, I know, as for me, I'm going to see my mom and dad, all my brothers and my sisters, and 
and everywhere you look our friends our meeting will be precious with the ones we love so dear an old border man has ever heard the sound I will hear welcome home oh do you come welcome home you're here for good look around was it worth the wait welcome home step through the gate welcome home I knew you'd come welcome home Worth the way. Welcome home. Step through the gate. We'll get Jane Sharp come sing for me. Sunset time traveling this highway home. This world of sin leaving behind now. I'm traveling the highway home. Traveling the highway home. I'm traveling this highway home. I was a way thank God I can see. I'm traveling.
set up markers for me he drive this highway home it's all in the bible as plain as can be i'm driving this highway home driving this highway home i'm driving this highway home narrows away thank god i can say Traveling this highway home Traveling the highway home I'm traveling this highway home Arrows away, thank God I can see I'm traveling this highway home. Arrows away, thank God I can see I'm traveling this highway home. I want to send this song out to my neighbor, uh, uh, Nana, or my neighbor, lives across from me. She said, sing her a song. It's her birthday today. <laughs> and this song's for you, Nana. Which I've 
Said I look so over Jordan, tell me what do I see? Coming for to carry me home. My soul and an angel coming just for me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet
that little song there, I was trying to do the best I could on it. It's for uh, her song, uh, used to be our band leader, Felix Brock. <laughs> yeah. He still plays some with us. Uh, uh, we won't send this program out to Felix today. He, he, Good job. Made me, uh, I'm not. came into this world I just can't call don't remember anything about my birth at all then one night on my knees in prayer I never will forget I had a birth I can't remember one I can't forget to this world it makes no difference some even frown but the angels they rejoice when my name was written down unworthy of his mercy still he paid my debt I had a birth I can't remember one I can't forget
Okay, hey, we'll leave you this one song tonight. Let's do a, you want to do it then? Got a question? Let's do the old country church. There's a place dear to me where I'm longing to be with my friends at the old country church. There was mother who went and our Sundays were spent with our friends at the old country church. Praise the shears of memory. Oh, what joy. As a small country boy, how my heart beats with joy when I kneel in the old country church. There's a Savior above, save my own. In my soul at the old country church. Precious shears of memory. Oh, what joy they bring to me. How I long once more to be with my friends at the old That day all the people would pray As they did in the old country church If they'd only confess Jesus surely Bless as he did in the old country church Precious years of memory Oh, what joy they bring to me How I long once more to be friends at the old country church with my friends at the old country church good to be with y'all tonight call in all right thank you so much eugene madden and the williamsburg gospel barn band and uh, we appreciate them coming for uh from a distance to help us tonight. Remember, they do have CDs. You may order them by calling 606-330-0017. All right, we appreciate that. From Pulaski County, they want someone wanted to hear just a, way, a poor wayfaring stranger and to pray for their church. They need a pastor. A buddy and Janice from Rockcastle said tell the band that they're doing a good job. Eva from Morgan County is enjoying the singing and she's having some tests done and wants to pray for that. Tim from uh, Casey County enjoying the program and pray for him and they, they, his family loves the station. Uh, Willard and Mamie Douglas from Whitley County, they've uh, uh, been married 69 years and they're going to give $1 for each year they've been married and to help... Uh, Keep WLJC going. Thank you so much, Willard and Mamie Douglas. They know the singers real well, and uh, so uh, thank you for that good offering. Floney from Whitley County joined the group. Pray for her and her loved ones, and wanted Jean uh, to sing a song for her cousin's mother-in-law. Uh, from uh, Morgan County, someone that's had... Uh, someone in their hosp in the hospital that has been um, uh, really experiencing some mental distress and trying to take their own life and so they need they need prayer and uh, they're praying for all of us and uh, and Dottie remember to pray for Dottie 
and uh, from uh, Clay County, Carter uh, prayed for his family, and Peggy from Breathitt for her uh, her family, Judy from Pike for uh, her family, for God to touch them. Um, um, a mother is 85 years of age in the Lexington Hospital being checked out, and also pray for the, the caller. Uh, this one is uh, physical needs for uh, they're sick and they're unsaved. Mary from Laurel, pray for uh, Pauline and Jan, uh, Genesis' dad and brother, uh, Linda and her family, Mary from Boyle, uh, Boyd County, for Ola, her mother, 64 years old, heart problems and uh, not working right. She watches every night. So. Thank you for calling Phyllis from from London. Uh, this one is a praise report. Mother and sister was able to make a six hour trip to see a, a niece uh, to her wedding and got to make the trip uh, safely. All right, uh, this is Mamie Gregory is 80 years of age and uh, Praying for Dottie, and a lot of people are praying. WLJC is her church, and she wants to thank us. Yes, be sure and pray for Dottie because we, she is very much missed uh, when she's not here. But she's trying. Uh, if anyone got put forth a good effort to get well, Dottie will be it. Bueller from London, tell Dottie that she's praying for her, and uh, also uh, she needs prayer. Veda from London. For her sister and a praying for Dottie. This one it says, pray for Bobby uh, from Powell County. Someone is improving but still needs help. Bonnie and Peggy, they're praying for uh, Bonnie, uh, Bar Dottie tonight. Montgomery County, pray for him uh, to be uh, Terry, Terry to be able to give up smoking completely. From Hazard, uh, from or rather Hazel from Pulaski. Uh, is sick. Uh, Danny from McKee, Linda, uh, unspoken request. And, uh, and we have a lady for herself and her family. They're sick. Juanita from Wolf County, health issues. Alice uh, uh, for her family. They have COVID. Uh, Chelsea for herself. Linda um, will have another surgery in July. And uh, she has multiple blockages in her legs and her stomach, and uh, she wants her family to get back in church. Corina uh, for her son, uh, Terry from uh, Menifee, Alan from Breathitt County, uh, has been very sick, uh, went to the hospital, upper, upper respiratory problems. Um, and anyway, the, uh, he's, uh, they watch every night of this program. Would love to uh, have this read on the air. Okay, he's uh, he's only 23 and he watches with his parents. Uh, Brenda asking for prayer for her family and Timmy, colon cancer needs a lot of prayer. Surgery on Friday morning and so uh, uh, once again for those of you just uh, if you did not hear us uh, talk about Dottie, uh, she had a she had an accident, accidentally fell and. Uh, broke her, her, her arm, her uh, near her wrist, and uh, she had surgery on uh, on Tuesday, I guess. And so she's, uh, of course, with such an injury as this, we can't, you can't see a real big improvement real quick. But she is having to suffer a lot. So that's what we're praying for: is for that suffering to be gone, and that she'll heal. Uh, the Lord healed her of. Uh, of cancer, she had just gotten a good report last week that she's cancer free again, and uh, and so now she's got this other challenge to pray for her uh, broken bones. And you know, sometimes the older we get, the harder it is to get those bones back together. So we need to pray for Dottie. She's not old, but she's uh, she's. Uh, not a teenager either, but anyway, we're missing her, and we know you are too, because uh, many of you, have, when you call, you just want to talk to Dottie, and I can see why, because Dottie has a real love and a compassion for the ministry and for the people, 
And so I think I heard some more calls coming in and we'll, uh, we'll check those out and then we'll pray for all of these. And so we need to pray for uh, the singers that we had tonight, pray for their uh, safe journey. We're having some uh, weather reports. It's not sounding too good, but we'll just pray those things, the storms get above us and that we won't have, we won't have uh, any damage done. Brenda from Morgan for her and her family. All right, you know, uh, it's just like we say, there's so many are just kind of giving up because the news is just one bad thing right after another. Someone uh, like this terrible shooting of uh, all these little children, then someone comes along and hears all their, uh, the news that there's covering them, they become a copycat and they try to do it. And so we need to pray for America, the heart of America, which is the people to turn back to God. And when our hearts are right with God, we're not going to hear these things. They're not going to be doing these things. And so that's what we need to pray for. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you are where we find victory and you are the all of our source of help. And for all of these that have called, Lord, there's some that so... Uh, they're suffering, they are need immediate help and for Dottie and, and others, Lord, that did not even call. We ask you to have mercy on them. Bring America back to what it once was in your sight, Lord. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we know that is a scriptural way to pray. We don't know how it should be or what should be going on. We know that you've told us that many Things are going to happen before you come back. So just help us to be ready, endure, and not faint by the wayside. You said the ones that endure until the end. And Lord, until it's at the end of our life or the end of the world, help us to be faithful in doing whatever you've called us to do, whatever you've allowed us to do, Lord, help us all to be faithful in doing that. Bless our guests tonight. Give them safety in their travels, and Lord, over this weekend, the horse and many are going to be traveling. We ask for mercy to be extended to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we appreciate all of you that have called tonight, and we know that uh, every every single day we get a, a request in during the day, and then at night we're reaching a lot of people, and that's why that we always appreciate so much those that want to uh, just kind of join in and help us with uh, keeping it on the air, which involves a lot. We'll talk about that later. But right now, we're out of time. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.